This is Senator Samuel Anyao, a PDP senator. How many of the EPC senators can you see coming out boldly to talk the way a PDP a senator, this PDP senator has come out to say something to the Southeast leaders? The question is, if this man happens to be a PDP senator, will he be bold enough to come out to say that all Igbo leaders should speak out with possible actions to stop the killings in the Southeast? Will he be able to say that? Are they courageous enough to come out? But why? I thought the people voted them in to be protected for them to be at the front and work for them and work for the masses but no they are rather in the support of the president whatever he says it's always going down well with them no other opinion nothing more what they do is to get him uh it's to support him whatever he says whatever the decision is no, no, no counter opinion against whatever the president or the people leading are saying. Following reported extrajudicial killings in the southeast geopolitical zone, Senator Samuel Enemeke Meka Anyaw, who has accused some leaders of the zone of conspiring with extra external rada enemies to perpetrate evil citing their continued silence as evidence of the harsh job well he's actually saying the truth because if Igbo leaders have stood up and you know fight this good fight things wouldn't have go bad the way it is right now there would have been solution to the problems in the southeast. Only the youth are facing this fight. Only the youth are courageous enough to attack. Look at how many of them that have lost their lives in this battle. And they are still not giving up. Take for example the ESN and the IPOP members. Some of them have lost their lives, and yet they are not giving up. They have tried to discourage them. They have arrested them. They have done so many things to them, but they are not giving up. They are still fighting back. If their leaders or elders should wake up, confront the government itself, and tell them to stop killing their youth, Stop killing their stop killing their people. Do you think all those things wouldn't have stopped? It would. It would. If even if it's not gonna to stop totally, but to an extent you know solution would have been preferred. And yeah would therefore describe their silence as not only worrisome and suspicious, but a calculated attempt to pitch the zone against the north. They are so silent. They are just sleeping. They are just there. They are not doing anything to the problems in the southeast. While speaking with the press, Sam that he called on political, religious, and traditional rulers to rise up to occasion with a view to preferring lasting solution to nip the ugly trend in the board and charge them to condemn the raid in which the youth of the zone have been unjustly arrested and killed. You see, political leaders traditional rulers, religious leaders, these are the people 
we have in the southeastern part of the country. What are they doing? The traditional rulers are just there as figureheads. They are not even contributing to the development of the southeast. They are not contributing to what is going on, to how they can cope the problems of insecurity. They are not con contributing to stop the killings in the southeast. But rather, they kept mute. Even the political and the religious leaders, what are they doing? What are they doing? According to him, when the youth of a tribe is listed in a black book, the future of such tribe is not only unknown but worrisome. Yes. What is the future of the Southeast? How is it going to look like? You can see the handwriting boldly written on the wall. Southeast youth. Well, their future is in God's hands. Only him can change it. Only him can do something about it. Because right now, at the moment, the leaders they have are not doing anything. They are not helping their youth. They don't want them to be their leaders of tomorrow. And that is why they are just looking and watching them. The youth are the ones fighting. They are the ones struggling. They are the ones in the battlefront. At the battlefront, they are the ones struggling to get better future for their children. And Ayao is toward in the People's Democratic Party PDP in Imo State also call on security agents to apply caution in discharging their duties. Noting that if the purpose, the purpose of which they were established, which is to protect lives and properties, is defeated. Their relevance becomes useless to the society. Well, I think the security personnel in the southeast are overdoing things. They are overreacting. They are over discharging their duties. This is not how their duties should be discharged. They are not supposed to do an eye for an eye. They're supposed to protect the lives and properties of the people. Look at how many innocent lives they've taken. Taking people on away, whether they know or not about it. They just take them on away. While calling on the youth of the zone to be law abiding, further enjoying parents to always monitor closely the movement of their children and wards. To avoid any breach in of law and order. Okay? It's also advising the youth as well because they also have their own parts and roles to play. They have their parts and roles to play in this issue. They must be careful the way they go out. They must be careful where they go or what they do at a particular point in time. Meanwhile, the senator has condemned the killings of South East and regrets while Igbo leaders are keeping silence, which he alleged that it is suspicious and worrisome. Well, I hope they will one day realize that they are silent. They will one day realize that they are keeping quiet. They will one day realize their roles as leaders. And they will seriously do something about what is going on in their region. Let's know what your takes are on this new story. Yes, Senator Samuel has said his own. It is now left for us, the Southeast, and their leaders to do something about it. Thank you for listening, and I will see you on the other news by for now.